Today, I'm going to show you a free, crazy, weird new SEO loophole using School AI SEO. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. You'll learn how to rank with School AI SEO, plus automate the whole process using AI and ChatGPT. Let me show you an example of school.com, for example. And I'll explain what this is and how to use it in a second. But basically, this is a DR80 website. You can see the traffic is pretty much in a vertical line since June. They've gone from 57k a month to 580,000 a month. I'll give you all the free tools, workflows, and SB step by step for free today. And I'll show you proof of how powerful this is. As you can see right here, this is extremely powerful for ranking. I actually posted this tutorial inside the SEO boardroom recently. And today I'm going to walk you through it for free. Now, at this point, you might be actually asking, are you ranking with school at the minute? So, for example, if we type in one of my keywords right here, we'll scroll down and you can see my school page ranking right here. If we check another keyword, like for example, SEO Elite, you can also see my page ranking right there for a keyword that actually gets traffic. So at this point, you might be asking, okay, what is school? School is kind of like a Facebook group, but you can do a lot more of it. You can monetize your communities. You can set up weekly coaching calls that you can see. You can have these leaderboards with your community and you can charge for all of this. You might also say, why would you want to rank with school? Well, number one, it diversifies your traffic. Number two, school's traffic is increasing more and more, as you can see right here, is that 580,000 traffic. I can imagine that's only going to increase as the domain becomes more powerful. Additionally, it's a user-generated content site, which Google tends to fail right now. As we've seen, for example, Reddit, LinkedIn, etc. These are all over the SERPs. It's very minimal effort, this process, but it does create very good quality content, as I'll show you in a second. You can monetize your group, so you can, for example, link to paid groups. You can include affiliate links. You can sell courses and coaching, and you can even use it to build your email list. And if you want to build your own community, SEO School is a great place to do that. You can do all of this for free, plus School is a DR80 website, and all the communities and pages you create on there can index on Google if you follow the process I'm about to show you. So let's get into the process. The first process is to set up a new community. Now, like I say, this is free, and this ranked for me within seven days. So if you don't even make any money within two weeks during the free trial at School, it doesn't matter. You can cancel your free trial. You didn't lose anything. You just tested whether you could rank with it or not. How do you set up the community? Here's a brand new one I just created as a test project. To actually rank, you don't even need a cover photo, but you can include one. You can just generate one with AI. Then you're going to include one a related keyword inside the title of your community. Of your community. So for example, if it's like SEO, it could be like SEO scalers, secret SEO mastermind, whatever. And then you can also add a description. I actually didn't even add a description to rank with this mastermind as I showed you earlier. But ideally, you do want a name related to your niche. And very important right here, you want to make sure this is public. How do you do that? What you can do is if you go to your settings, number one, make sure your keyword is in the URL. And number two, if you go to your settings and then general, as you can see right here, you can add a description and you can also set it as public which means that anyone can see who's in the group and what they post. Content is discoverable by search engines. Happy days. And that's pretty much it for step number one. Step number two is to find keywords people are actually searching for. Now, one thing I would recommend for this, and I'll show you how to do this for free in a second, but basically you want to go for like how to keywords and then insert your niche, right? So for example, let's say I'm trying to grow my SEO community. What I can do is put in how to SEO inside Ahrefs and find low difficulty keywords I can actually rank for based on that. So if I filter down to keyword difficulty, 10 or less, which basically means very easy keywords to rank for, we can see right here, we've got a list. And then for example, these are all keywords that I could potentially rank for. Now you might ask at this point, why would you go for how to keywords? And I'll show you in a second why that is, but it's very, very important to do that. And then for example, I mean, how, and then for example, we've got a bunch of relevant keywords that will be related to my community. This works for any industry and a niche, right? So for example, how to get SEO clients, how to sell SEO, how to find SEO clients, how to create an SEO dashboard. These are all easy keywords that we can go for. Now you might say, how do you do that for free? Because obviously Ahrefs is a paid subscription. So what you can do is you can check Google autocomplete, which shows you what people are searching for actively. So for example, how to do SEO. And then we've got a bunch of keyword ideas like so. We can take a random keyword from the list. Then we can go to a Tref's free keyword generator tool, which I'll include a link to inside the SP. We can plug in our keyword that we found earlier, hit find keywords, and just go for the easy or medium keywords. So for example, how to SEO on TikTok, medium, easier than the rest of my niches. And obviously it depends what niche you're in. So the easier your niche is, 
And the less competition you have, obviously the easier it's going to be to find keywords. As an example of that, we've put like, for example, how to make coffee and we're in the coffee niche. Then for example, we've got easy, 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 easy. Lots of free keyword research ideas that are easy to rank for. The other option is you can just create your own free keyword tool on Claude. I'm not going to go too much in depth on that, but I will include a link to the SAP and the prompt that you can steal from me for free to create your own free keyword tools right here. Now, just to recap, you've set up your school community. You've done the keyword research. This is all being completely free. Now it's time to create content around your target keyword. How do you do that? So what you can do is create a new post for the keyword you want to target inside the community section of your mastermind. So for example, what you can do is click on write something inside the community section right here, put your keyword inside the title, put your keyword in the first line of the introduction. What I also like to do is embed a YouTube video inside the content as well. because in terms of usability, some people just want to skip straight to the video tutorial. Some people want to read the tutorial itself, but either way we've covered both bases. Then what you can do with either your blog posts, ideas that you have, or even a video transcript that you own. Let me show you an example. You can run this through my free tool that generates the content for you. So for example, let's take a video like this. We'll take the transcript like so. We'll grab the full transcript. We'll plug it into my free tool, which you can see right here. And then we're going to say, do your magic on this. And what it's going to do is take the 80-20 of the step-by-step -step instructions from this how-to piece so that we can create a nice little post like this. Now, the key here is that you're actually creating something more useful than what you would see everywhere else, right? So for example, this basically cuts out all the fluff, is very straight to the point. It tells people exactly what they want related to the search term, and it matches the search intent in a no-fluff way. If I spent even more time on it, it'd probably be even better. And so now you've got the SAP generated right there. If you just want the prompt to use on say Claude or ChatGPT to create your own version of the tool, I've actually included the prompt inside the instructions right there. And then what I did was I just posted that directly into school like so. And that's pretty much it, simple as that. As you can see right here, it's not spam. It cuts out all the fluff, it helps the user. And just like the SAPs that I create is actually something useful that people can follow step by step to get the outcome that they want. Now, one of the most important parts of this is getting your page indexed. Because if you've got a new community, it's quite hard to get it indexed fast. It took me about five to seven days. And so what you can do to index faster is you can build some internal links to that page from other school pages. You can use a tool like Indexceptional, for example, as well. And that will also help your indexing. You can share it to social media. So for example, if we search for what I've posted over the last 24 hours that's been indexed on Google. You can see my Twitter post right there and YouTube. Social media helps you index your content really fast. You can also build backlinks to the page. I think because it was a new community, it took so long to index, but actually new posts in the future should help index it faster. And that's pretty much it. So I've shown you quite a free, crazy and weird new way to rank with school SEO that's ranking really well. I've shown you proof of that. I've shown you how to rank with it, with AI SEO and how to automate all the processes using my free tool and prompt. I've, I'm going to give you all the free tools and workflows in a second. And I've shown you proof that it actually works from my own mastermind and also from school's direct traffic. Now let's answer some FAQs. One of the questions I got recently was about this perplexity video. And I think people will be thinking the same with school, which is exploitation at its finest. Soon Google catches up to them. The spammers start using this again. The thing is about this, right? Is that you're actually creating something of use, something of value for the user that's going to help them with their search intent and actually answer their problem better than most other people do. That's what this is all about. And if you need even more help with that, then I've got a free manual quality control checklist. You might also say, is it free? I would say yes, because you've got a two week trial of school, which is free. And if it doesn't work for you, then you can just cancel it before the two weeks is over. The keyword research is free. I've given you two free ways to do that. Chat GPT is free to use and I've given you the prompt to do that. And ranking is free as well. So all of this process is completely free. Additionally, you might say why, and I would direct you back to the reasons that I covered earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the whole process that I've covered today, plug that into my free SEO course that comes with over 80 free SAPs, tutorials, and templates to rank with SEO. 
I'm going to plug that into my SEO system section. It's going to be called School AI SEO. We'll hit save like so. And the video notes are directly inside the description right there. If you want to get the free course, links inside the comments and description. And if you want to personalize everything that we've talked about today to make you more money of your website and get you more leads, traffic and sales of SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session where we'll give you a one-to-one -one SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website and you'll learn how to outrank your competitors with SEO. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.